Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at the furniture add-on mod for Xbox One Minecraft Edition. Now, let's get into this. So this mod comes with 12 new furniture add-ons that you can craft, but the dude on the website didn't give the crafting recipes. So, unfortunately I don't know the recipes and I can't show you guys. But I will show you how to be downloading this mod uh, after this showcase. So let's get into it. First things first, we got the toaster. As you see here, it's very detailed. And everything in this mod pack is very detailed, as you're going to see uh, when we get to them. But here's the toaster. Unfortunately, you can't do anything with it. It's just it's just here. So uh, that's a toaster. Very detailed. Looks very nice. And then next we have the iMac. <laughs> Look at this, man. <laughs> This is what I'm using to record this video right now. This is insane. Absolutely crazy. So much detail, but unfortunately you can't do anything with it. But that's okay because it just looks so cool and, you know, you can add this to your home and it'll spice it up. Very cool, very cool. Next we have the coffee maker, and this is the first one that you can actually do something with. And if you look in this chest here, look at the cocoa beans, and then we need the glass too. So... To make the coffee, hold your cocoa beans and then you push LT in this little area right here. And then, so now it's loaded. So now what you want to do is make your coffee mug. And how you do that is you take a piece of glass, stick it in there, and there you go. You have a mug. Then you just drop it in there. And there we go. The coffee is being made, as you can see. You can see it filling up right there. And now it should just pop out. There it is. And you can drink this. And now you have super speed. <laughs> that caffeine kicking in real quick. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have the audio player and the speakers that come with it. And you can actually, as you can see here, if you hold hover over this button right here, it says play next. You can actually download audio files from the website. I didn't do that, but you can hit this and it'll automatically play the music that you download so that's pretty cool I'll show you guys um, that you can download the music I'm not gonna show you how to download it but I'll show you the link that you can use also look at the detail on this thing man it's insane craziness and the detail on these speakers awesome moving on we have the mini fridge and this one's pretty special because you can press LT on it and it will give you a soda and you can drink the soda how about that pretty cool stuff man I did this earlier, I got a blue soda, but this time I got a red soda, so looks like you can get a variety there. Moving on, we have the gaming chair, and this one's cool, because you can sit in it, and you can roll in it, baby. Oh yeah, rolling chair! This is, <laughs> this is crazy. You can actually roll in the rolling chair, how about that? Super cool stuff, man. Again, the detail is on point. Put that back right there. Details on point, got the armrest, the cushions, the wheels, legs, very cool. Next thing we have is the bookshelf, definitely looks like a bookshelf, uh, unfortunately you can't do anything special with it, you can just look at it and, and have it on display in your house. <laughs> Next we have the refrigerator, and this one you can actually open up, and oh look I got some, I got some chicken over here. Oh yeah, delicious. So we got the refrigerator here, and you can actually store stuff in it, which is pretty cool. Pretty. Oh gosh, I got I got food poisoning from eating that chicken. Oh gosh. <laughs> so that's the refrigerator, and it even has like a little water dispenser that you can't do anything with, but it's there for the detail. Very cool. Uh, moving on to this side, we got the final two. We have the couch, which of course. You can sit on. Wouldn't be a couch if you couldn't sit on it. Very cool. Lots of detail on this one as well. And we finally have the grill. And this is probably my favorite one out of all of them. Because you can actually cook meat on this thing. And it gives you a cool little animation. Check that out. So cool. And then when it's done, it just opens back up. It takes a little while. There it goes, and then you can just 
pick it up when it drops, and you can eat it. You can only cook steak in this thing, but that's okay, because, you know, it's still cool. Look at this thing. The detail, and it works. Crazy, bro. I'm happy that this mod worked out well. Unfortunately, we don't have any crafting recipes, so we're going to have to figure that out on our own. <laughs> um, so that's it. If you guys would like to learn how to download this, stick around, and I will be showing you how to do it. Okay, I'm sorry about recording the screen with my phone right now. I do have a capture card, but I left it at my college dorm, and I'm currently at my mom's house right now. So we're going to have to settle with this, but I promise you I do have a capture card. So uh, the link in the description is going to take you to this page, the mcpedl.com, and we're going to download the furniture add-on by Lancelot. So what you're going to do is scroll down all the way to the bottom, past all these pictures, a little bit more, there we go right here. So in order to get the mod on your Xbox, you're going to want to download the behavior and the texture, or resource, same thing. So we're going to do the behavior first. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to take you to a link for ties page. And what you're going to want to do is click on this, discover the articles. There it goes. And you're going to have to stay on this little page here for about 10 seconds, as you can see here. All right, now we can close out of it, and then we can go hit continue because we see the green check mark. Hit continue, and then scroll up, and here you can see direct access to behavior download. You're going to want to click on that. There it goes. It might take a few clicks, and it's going to pull you up to a Mediafire page. What you're going to want to do is click that green download button right there. Wait for it to download, and it might take you to a uh, a little pop up. Just close out of it and come back into this this tab right here. Didn't happen to me that time. So what you're going to want to do is click on the save as, and you're going to save this to your downloads. Make sure it says this device and then downloads. So you're going to hit save down here, and I already have it. So that's why it says that. You're going to download it to your downloads just like that. Hit the save button. I already have it, so it's not going to it's not going to work. So there's the behavior, and now we're going to download the texture or resource pack. So head back over to the the main web page. Going to scroll all the way down to the bottom again. And we're going to download the texture it's going to send you to another link for ties page and you're going to do the exact same thing so click on the discover articles again wait on this for about 10 seconds okay green check mark and now we hit continue scroll up and there is the direct access to the resource download that we will need go ahead and click A until that loads up Again, you might have to click it a couple times. There it goes. Same deal. Green box. Save as. And you're going to save this to your downloads as well. Again, I already have it, so I'm not going to be doing this. And there you go. That's all you need to do in terms of downloading. Now we're going to head over to that File Explorer app that I told you about earlier. And what you're going to do here is go over to your user MRG0 folder. If you don't have this, what you're going to want to do is click on these three dots. Click on Add Folder to Library. And you want to go to the clock over here and then scroll down to the Xbox. Press A. And then you're going to just want to go over to Select and then Add the Folder. I'm not going to do it because I already, already have it. So that's how you do that. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to go to Downloads. And here you will see the two packs that you downloaded. So what you're going to want to do is hit the Select button on the Behavior Pack. 
which is, and the select button is the, the circle with the three lines on it. So press that, and then you're going to hit extract, and it's going to extract that file, and then you're going to have this folder pop up, and you're going to do the same thing with the texture pack, the resource pack. Hit extract, it's going to make this folder right here. So once we do that, you're going to want to copy this folder, the behavior folder, go to this device, isolated storage, and then you're going to want to go up to packages right here. Once that loads, you want to scroll all the way down until you get to the Microsoft.Minecraft console right here. Local state, games, com.mojang. And now you are going to want to paste that paste that folder into this behavior packs folder. So to do that, you click on it, and you're just going to hit paste. And that folder is going to copy into this folder. That's how you do that. If you don't have the behavior packs folder, you go up to the three dots and then hit new folder and just name it behavior underscore packs. It's very important that you name it exactly like this behavior underscore packs, no capitals. So we copied the behavior pack into the behavior packs folder. Now you're going to do the exact same thing with the resource packs. So to do that, we're going to go back to the user, downloads, and then the resource pack. We're going to copy this, hit that copy, go back to this device, isolated storage, packages, let that load up, scroll down to the Minecraft folder, which is this one right here, local state, games, com.mojang, and you're going to click in the resource packs and paste it here. And I already have it pasted right here, as you can see. And again, if you don't have the resource packs folder, you have to go to three dots and create it with the new folder and name it exactly this, resource underscore packs, no caps. And once you have done that, you've copied all your folders to the exact folders that they need to be in, you're done. So all you have to do is load up Minecraft. And once you load up into Minecraft, your packs should be there. So we're going to hit play, create new, create new world. And how you load these up into your world, you go down to resource packs, go to my packs, and you see it right here, furniture HQ. Click on that, hit activate. And you want to go down to the behavior packs and do the same thing as well. Hit activate. Scroll up to game. I'm going to put this in creative for now. And then you want to make sure that you come down here and check use experimental gameplay. Very important that you do that. And then we can just create the world. Okay, once we load in, now we can check to see if the packs loaded in correctly. And there they are. There's the stuff right there. So that is how you load up the mod into your game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Had a good time making it. Like once again, I'm sorry about the little screen record with my phone. Again, I do have a capture card back in my college dorm. And the next video, I will definitely be using that. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.